Well, here we are again. It's Friday the 13th of March, and what better way to celebrate Friday the 13th than to do a little bit of maths? I'm currently sat in my office at school, it's academic mentoring day, none of you are in yet, but I'm here, I'm dedicated, and I'm going to produce a few examples to help you guys get this statement. By the end of today's session, I want you to be able to say, we love geometric series, yeah. So, what am I talking about? What is a geometric series? Well, first of all, let's talk about arithmetic series. And if you remember, an arithmetic series was something that went up or went down by the same thing every time. So in this case, we've got an arithmetic series. And how do we define an arithmetic series? We often wanted to know three things. We wanted to know A, which was the first term, which in this particular case was 5. We wanted to know what the common difference was, which we called D. And of course, in this case, we're jumping up plus 2 every time. And then the other thing you often wanted to know was n, the number of terms in that series. Well, for a geometric series, it's exactly the same kind of thing. The only difference this time is you're not going up by the same amount each time, you're multiplying by the same thing each time. So for instance, what about this sequence? And being smarty pants, you're looking at it going, aha, it is doubling every time. And therefore, in order to define this series, the first term, and we use A again for this, is 2. And what we call the amount you're multiplying by each time, we're calling that R. That stands for the common ratio. And in this particular case, the common ratio each time is 2. And this is very, very powerful, because now we know that, we can work out any term of a geometric series. Have a think about it. How many times have I multiplied 2 by the common ratio to get to the second term? I've multiplied it by r, haven't I? And how many times have I multiplied it by r to get to the third term? I've multiplied it by r, and then I've multiplied it by r again, so I've multiplied it by r squared. So if we take that and turn it into a formula, we can very quickly come up with a little formula for the nth term in a geometric series. It's going to be the first term times the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. So think about that. The first term times by the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. It's n minus 1, not n, because we've only multiplied it by the common ratio that many times, one fewer than the number of terms we've got so far. So, for instance, if we go back to that geometric series I just gave an example of where we start off with the number 2 and we multiply by 2 each term, say I wanted to find the, I don't know, the tenth term, what would I do? I'd take the first term and i times it by the common ratio, which in this case is 2 again, times it by n minus 1 to the power of n minus 1. So if it was 10 terms, I'd times it by 2 to the power of 9, and that would give me some number which is quite big. That's 2 to the power of 10, which escapes me right now what that is, but I know it's quite big. So ladies and gents, first of all, that's the first formula you need to learn about geometric series, the nth term formula. The nth term of geometric series is a times r to the power of n minus 1.